You were the Gatorade player of the, player of the Year in high school. You've gone on to win so much more after that, Kyler. But as you think about what your future may look like, do you know right now as you're sitting on this show and doing everything you're doing for Super Bowl week what you want your career path to be? Um, you know, when I was young, I, I always wrote on the paper I want to be a professional athlete. And, uh, you know, I think I got one of those locked up right now. Um, you know, I have the opportunity to uh, – Go, you know, if I do choose the football route, you know, being be uh, selected in another sport. So uh, I, for me, it's all a dream come true. Uh, blessed to be in this position, and I'm, I'm just taking it one day at a time. What will you consider before you make this decision? What are the primary factors that will go into you making up your mind? Uh, yeah, that's a tough question. You know, I've, I've really weighed out, you know, all the options. Um, you know, just. Really coming down these last couple of days, uh, after, you know, I'll probably make a decision here soon after the Super Bowl, uh, really soon actually. So, uh, yeah, I've weighed out all the all the options you could possibly weigh out. Trust me. If you're going to make it that soon, perhaps you could just tell us now. What are you planning? <laughs> uh, what, if, if you seem you sound kind of ready to do this, are you going to be a football player or a baseball player? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing that today. So. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I do want to know this, though, Kyler. When you think about watching some of these guys, some of your peers who are quarterbacks in this draft class even, watching them go on and play football, what would that feel like to you if you weren't one of those guys who goes on and plays football and, and has an opportunity to be a part of the NFL? Uh, yeah, no, I've always, you know, as a kid, you know, you picture yourself, you know, playing. Or for me personally, I picture myself playing, in, you know, the MLB, the NFL, uh, whichever one it was, you know, the NBA, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that, that's their lives. You know, I'd be happy for them. Uh, but, it said, you know, if I go play baseball, you know, I, I definitely that's, that's, gonna, that's what I'm going to go do. And, you know, I'm going to do it 100% and not look back. And if I do it, if, say, vice versa for football. So uh, I think whatever choice that I make, uh, I'm going to go in it uh, 100%, you know, go hard and, and, you know, never look back. So. People will think of Bo Jackson when they think about your decision. They'll think of Deion Sanders. What conversations have you had with other guys who played both sports? Uh, I actually talked to Deion about, you know, about his, uh, his story the other day. Um, you know, I, I want to get to talk to Russ, but uh, I actually haven't met him. You know, kind of, you know, it's weird, all the comparisons and stuff that, that have been circulating throughout my, you know, my career. And for me not to have met him yet is, uh, you know, it's, it's disappointing <laughs> to me because, you know, I, I look up to him. But, uh, you know, I've, I've got a lot of good advice. But at the end of the day, I, don't know, I got to make a decision that's, you know, best for me. So. Kyler, uh, spending some time with you during the college football playoff, we talked a little bit about how people look at your size and say that that could be something that w would work against you on the NFL level. When you hear that, what does that make you think? I mean, I've, I've heard it my whole life. You know, I've never been the biggest guy on the field, but at the end of the day, I mean, I feel, you know, whatever, wh whether it's the football field or the baseball field, I feel like I'm the best player on the field or, you know, the most impactful player on the field. So I think that's the mindset that any player should have, that they are the best player on the field and, you know, carry that confidence with them on and off the field. So uh, that, that's my mindset. Um, I've heard it all. Uh, and it doesn't really affect me at all. I'm a self-motivated guy, so uh, I, I just want to be the best at whatever I do. Kyler, when will we hear this decision from you? You said you thought you would do it soon. When should we expect to hear from you on your decision? Uh, I don't, I don't have a, a certain date, you know, picked out or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm here enjoying this moment at the Super Bowl, and uh, you know, when we get back uh, to Dallas, you know, we'll probably figure it out. All right, thanks so much, Kyler Murray, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, for joining us here. We can't wait to watch your journey as it carries on here soon, approaching the NFL draft. Good luck, Kyler. Thank you very much. It's, it's a Thank remarkable you. Thank position. You for